Hey guys, this is Shuwan from ASA Technical. Today I'm going to show you how to update the BIOS on a laptop. As you know, updating your operating system and software is very important. And on the other hand, do you know that? You probably shouldn't update your BIOS if your system is working properly. Yeah, that is absolutely true because in some cases, a PC user may encounter new bugs with a new version of the BIOS. So it is necessary that update your BIOS when your system needs to be add some new features, security patches, performance improvements and when a new version of BIOS may fix a bug with an obscure piece of hardware or add support for a new model of CPU. For example, here in my case, I am going to update my system BIOS for these three following reasons. Number 1. Intel Management Engine's new function or enhancement. Number 2. Correction to existing function and number 3. To fix the security vulnerabilities. However, if you want to update your BIOS, then just follow me. You can easily update your laptop system BIOS. Definitely, this video will be very convenient for you. Well, let's get started. At first, open the browser. Next, you need to download new version of BIOS firmware software from manufacturer website. If you have an Acer laptop, then just follow me to download the specific BIOS firmware software from manufacturer website. Next go to support and then drivers and manuals. Alright, to find out your device, here you can enter your laptop serial number, SN ID or model number or you can select your device from here as you can see. My laptop's category notebook series Aspire model E5575. Alright, now go to BIOS firmware option. Next, download this latest version of BIOS firmware executable file from here as you can see. Now I'm going to download this latest version 1.45. It's about 34.9 MB. Alright, now listen very carefully. Before running this process, make sure do not open any other apps or turn off any background apps if it is open. And make sure that connect the AC power supply to the laptop and do not disconnect the power supply during the BIOS update process. And remember that no other device is connected to the laptop and disconnect any other cabling to the laptop including an Ethernet cable. Next, I'm going to extract this file that I have downloaded. Alright, next I just opened the folder that I got after extracting. Now, I'm just going to double click on the BIOS firmware executable file to install. Now your PC will reboot as you can see. Now be patient for a while until the process is complete, do nothing. Alright, as you can see here shows that the current system BIOS version and new BIOS image version. 
Please be patient for a while, do nothing, OS will start automatically. Yeah done. As you can see, status shows that update BIOS completed. Please be patient for a while, do nothing. OS will start automatically. Alright, now let me show you the current BIOS version. To check the BIOS version, just restart the computer and be ready to enter your laptop's BIOS with hitting on F2. Then you will see the BIOS version on information tab as you can see. We hope you will like, of course let us know your opinion, if you have any questions then please let us know. Please like, comment, share, we need your support and guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you, thanks for watching, have a nice day.